Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made these bathroom items, including a toilet, cosmetic bag, makeup and much more. If you are new here and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Start by cutting out a piece of cardboard that is about 30 cm long and 15 cm wide and use an egg carton to make tiles. As you can see, I've changed my mind about the shape of the tiles and decided to go for rectangles instead of squares. Use hot glue to attach them to the cardboard and apply a layer of varnish before painting them in the color of your choice. This will prevent them from soaking up the paint and you having to go over it again and again in order to get full coverage. Cut out a piece of foam board, place a small plastic container inside and use popsicle sticks to make a sink. I'm using a small piece of wire, hot glue and nail varnish to make a tab. Now let's make the toilet. You will need a small plastic bottle which you will have to cut open in a straight line and then use a flat iron to make the edges curl in. Be careful when you do that as they can get really hot and possibly melt the plastic so be sure to start at a low temperature. Now cut open one side, I'm using tape to make it easier to cut in a straight line and use hot glue to make a toilet seat and a lid. This is a piece of foam board, trace the shape of the toilet on it, follow the line with hot glue and place the toilet on top. Since I didn't do a perfect job when cutting the plastic, the edge isn't going to look very neat and tidy, which is why I'm using more of the tiles that I prepared earlier to hide the mess.
This is a small plastic lid from a toothpaste tube, which I'm going to paint silver as well as the lollipop stick to make a toilet brush. For the next step, you will need white felt, hot glue, paperboard, a pom-pom, a tiny artificial flower and needle and thread. Cut a small piece of a drinking straw, apply hot glue to one opening and use a metal tongue to squeeze it until it is dry. Cut off any excess and use hot glue on baking paper to close the other side. Now you can paint it using nail varnish. To make a tiny working lipstick, I'm using a small piece of my lip liner, which I'm going to wrap in cello tape. You need a little bit of patience for this step because the lip liner doesn't stick to the tape and it is not supposed to, otherwise you wouldn't be able to push it up. You will see what I mean in a minute. Cut off the excess tape and glue it in a black bead and use another one to make a lid. And now you can see why the lip liner isn't supposed to stick to the tape. And now it's time to make the top and a hair dryer. All you need for the hair dryer is an earphone, lollipop stick, nail varnish, a small bead and a toothpick.
To make the top, cut off the bottom of a laundry detergent bottle. You can fill it up with slime like I did. If you would like to know how I made the slime, you can watch a tutorial. I will put the link in the info box. Now use lollipop sticks and a piece of wire to make a water tap and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!